Good afternoon, Pokesports, and welcome to another VGC Series 1 battle using Genius VGC's team that he brought to Liverpool Regionals. This team includes a Baxcalibur, Tauros, Volcarona, King Gambit, Mimikyu, and Amoongus. Uh, my favorite thing about this team by far has got to be the Tauros with the Intimidate and the Mirror Herb. It's just my favorite variant of Tauros. Uh, this is just kind of like an all-star of Series 1 that you wouldn't normally see in, uh, you know, your top, top meta teams, but this managed to get top 8. So what we're going to do we are going to go into the battle arena. We're going to see what we can do with Telefilm. Today, we would like to choose Telefilm. Let's go. All right, and going up against Chris. We're going up against Chris. What a breath of fresh air to be using Pokemon that are not so commonly seen. We've got an Espeon. We've got a, a, a Spathra. Wow, a Salamence. I'm just going to go ahead and bring back Scalibur here. I think that's the right thing to do. And then, of course, Tauros, because if they bring out the Skeleturge, then I have Wave Crash for that. If they bring out the Palafin, then I have Intimidate for that. Um, I don't have, you know what? I don't immediately have an answer for Palafin in these two. But, uh, and then in the back, I can bring Amoongus. Uh, and this is Defiant King Gambit. Maybe I actually want to lead with Defiant King Gambit. Because if they lead with Tauros, I kind of like this. Yeah, we're going to bring back Scalibur. We're going to bring Amoongus because this is Defiant King Gambit. Def, uh, Supreme Overlord King Gambit usually wants to be in the back where it can, you know, suck up the energy from its fallen comrades. But this one's Defiant where you want to have it in play when you uh, get hit by a um, by an Intimidate or something like that. So Espeon and Espathra. Hello. Okay, well, you know what? I'm immediately glad that I led with King Gambit. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm uh, going to lower the attack of those two special Pokemon, so it's not really going to matter. One of them might hit Terra. Fire. What happens if one hits Terra Fire? What happens if Espeon hits Terra Fire right now? Let's find out. Let's protect. Uh, and let's... Do I even want to... Terra flying right now? No, I don't think so. Obviously not. Uh, I can go for a Kowtow Cleave. I feel like the Espathra is probably going to protect. So I feel like I might want to go into the Espeon, but I think if I go into the Espeon, it's going to Terra. Well, I'm going to go for the Espeon anyway. If, if they do Terra the Espeon, then I'll just be sad and that's going to be my life. But uh, yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. Well, that's a Terra Fairy, so that's the exact thing that I didn't want to happen. I thought it would Terra Fire, but this is just not great. Not great for me. Well, I'll protect myself here. The sponsor's going to protect because of the speed boost. This makes sense. And Espeon's going to hit the Dazzling Gleam on my protected Tauros. And this is just going to do neutral damage to my King Gambit, but... Uh, well, actually, this is a Salt Vest King Gambit, so it might not do... It didn't do all that much. And then the Kowtow Cleave is going to do half of its HP, so Espeon is still Espeon at the end of the day. Uh, but honestly, it was a good move on their part. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, my speed's up now. <laughs> what's up? Now what's up? What if I go for uh, Terra Steel here so I don't go down to a uh, Lumina Crash? And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wave crash. Yep. I'm going to iron head this Espeon. I don't think I'll go down to this. So by Terra stealing my Tauros, that brings it out of uh, fighting. And that is a really nasty thing uh, to be up against a Terra Fairy Espeon for both for all the reasons. Uh, but that mirror putting in some work here, eh, not doing as much damage as I thought it would, but still doing some good damage. Oh, Calm Mind, just hit me with that Calm Mind. It might want to go for an attack next turn. If it goes for an attack next turn, then this... I've got a Sucker Punch for you, my friend. Dazzling Gleam is going to be not very effective to both of my Pokemon, not really going to do all that much damage to either. And then King Gambit's just going to Iron Head to take out the rest of that Espeon, the Respeon, if you will. And down it goes. A little gem on its head has never looked so dull. And now Espathra is faster than my 
is faster than my Tauros, but not faster than my Sucker Punch King Gambit. Yeah, they really needed to take out... Oh, I'm still plus one speed. This is going to be a good close combat. They really need to take out my King Gambit here because Sucker Punch is just going to ruin this Espathra's whole career. I mean, I'm showing all of my King Gambit's moves here, but I think that's a good showcase of King Gambit, if that's the case. Baxcalibur is going to protect, and that does make sense. But I can just do the same thing until the cows come home. Espathra is just going to try and attack, but isn't going to attack because of the Sucker Punch. Uh, it really comes down to, I think, what the last Pokemon is, right? If we've got Salamence out here, then King Gambit's about to get a big ol' boost. Yes. However, it does mean that the Intimidate is going to bring that down a little bit. Uh, for my Tauros, that is. I'm still going to go for the, the close combat on the Baxcalibur just because I have Pokemon in the back like my own Baxcalibur and an Amoongus uh, to do some fun stuff. Uh, Baxcalibur is enough, so I can just attack the enemy Baxcalibur with all I've got. It's probably going to hit me with a with an ice. Sh it wouldn't hit me with an ice shard to get around a sucker punch. No, I, my, my mind always goes to that. I'm like, oh, it's going to go for the one thing that I'm not going to like. And if I thought of that during the turn, I might be a better player. But anyway, uh, let's watch that Salamence go for a heat wave right now and destroy both my team. Nah, it's going to go for a brick break. All right. All right there, King Gambit. You put in you put in the work. You put in the time, and now let's let Baxcalibur finish you off. I'll go for a uh, iron, sh uh, iron shard, uh, an ice shard, because I'm curious what that'll actually do to a Salamence. So we'll not go for a close combat. We're just going to go for a wave crash. I'm curious if this is going to come anywhere close to taking it out. Let's not cancel the battle, though, please. Yeah, I just want to see. Thank you. Yeah. That's exactly what I wanted to see. And now we know. Baxcalibur is super strong, even just with uh, Ice Shard. Yeah. So that was a good game, Chris. That was a good game. Brought a lot of Pokemon that I was not expecting. Uh, and I think we, we handled it quite okay. So let's take this team. Uh, let's go into our next game and uh, see if we can't replicate the magic. How many times have I said replicate the magic? as a part of the transition. Let's just let's get out of here. Let's go to the second game. Let's go. OK, and game number two against someone ranked under 2000. And this is a Mioscarata Goldengo. Uh, what's that? Grimmsnarl. Of course, that's Grimmsnarl. That's going to get a wave crash real quick. Not a wave crash. Oh, I don't have Raging Bull. Oh, yeah. This Taurus doesn't have Raging Bull. OK. Well, I still have Volcarona, and Volcarona deals with, uh, like, almost five out of six of these Pokemon, so I feel like I should just lead with it. You know what I mean? I don't want it to be put to sleep uh, by the Breloom, so I might as well lead with the Baxcalibur. That, I think, is one of the only ways that I can be ruined on that first turn, especially with uh, Grimmsnarl out. It has to make a choice between going for Reflect and going for Light Screen. And with Baxcalibur out, I think it's more likely to go for a Reflect, not thinking about how Volcarona bodies the rest of that team. Uh, with Murkrow there, I feel like if I bring Amoongus, I'm doing no favors to myself because there's two Grass Pokemon there that just don't want to get Rage Powdered. Uh, Mimikyu... No, King Gambit and Tauros are going to be my two choices for this team. Because if the uh, Golden Go comes out, I have King Gambit for that. I can go for a Sucker Punch. I don't have to fear that because I would usually bring the uh, Mimikyu out for it. Yeah, so here's Golden Go and Meowskarada, both of which don't want to take a fire move. I think I can just go for a heat wave here. Maybe I. Mm, yeah, let's go for a heat wave here. 
And I think I'll protect this Bexcalibur for the first turn. Yeah, I, I feel like it's going to be a pretty big threat. They're hitting Terrastalization on probably the Golden Go? Yeah. For Terra Water. That's a good choice. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Now imagine if this Golden Go had Terra Blast or Rock or Power Gem. Oh no. Yeah, so good. They attacked into the back Scalibur. That's what I needed. I would like this Heat Wave to hit both, and it does. Thank you very much. I have an Ice Shard. Oh, that is irrelevant, but that's whatever. Um, it does have Terra Blast. Oh, God. <laughs> no, no, no. Stop it. Don't do it. This is the first Gold Angle I've ever seen that has a Terra Blast. Of course, it's the one that's going against my Volcarona. But at least I burned you. Now it's relevant. Now who's irrelevant? It could have had um thing too. It doesn't matter. Uh, King Gambit, I think, can do the rest of the job here. If I go and assume that it is choice specs, then I can guess that they're going to uh, switch out here. And they have what in the back? They have Pokemon that don't want to take nothing that doesn't want to take steel. What am I trying to say? Um, if I go for a dark move, it's neutral against three of them. If I go for a uh, if I go for a steel move, it's super effective against Grimmsnarl. So let's do that. And then, like I said, I have an Ice Shard for this. Do I want to tear a Steel? No. Yes. Yes, I do. I just want to get out of the Ice type. I would really, really rather not be in the Ice type right now. <laughs> I love that Baxcalibur now has an axe on its head and its back. Anyway, I shot. Hey. Oh, because it's dark. Because it's dark now. Mm. Oh. That's that's so bad for me. That's so nasty. I don't like it. All right. Well, down goes Bax. Bax and Du Bois. I didn't even consider uh, what would happen if the Golden Ghost stayed in. <laughs> well, regardless, we've got Tauros now. Gonna intimidate the Meow. Gonna intimidate that. Uh, King Gambit needs to attack here. I'm going to attack the Meow Skirata with a Sucker Punch, and I'm going to attack the... Golden Go with a wave crash. And let's do this one more time, uh, just in case. Yeah, so a wave crash is probably the better thing to go for on the Golden Go rather than the close combat. That's the one that. Come on. All right, bring out your Arcanines. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, you've got an Intimidate. Oh, I've got a Defiant for you. I'm just going to sucker punch everything. They're going to withdraw that, too. OK, withdraw your last pathetic card, Yugi, and bring out that. Yeah, OK. King Gambit, you sucker punch. It was bad. Uh, now, this will at least break any kind of sash so that next turn I can go for a. Um, a close combat, I can't go for I can't go for a Sucker Punch on. Can't go for a Sucker Punch on the Berloom, but I can go for a Sucker Punch on the Arcanine. In fact, I think I have to. And then close combat on the Berloom so it doesn't put anything to sleep. How? 
<laughs> well, it's gonna give. Oh yeah, and then close combat is. Uh... That's not enough damage. Eh, it will be if I use Aqua Jet. I'm still going to to sucker punch. I'm going to Sucker Punch for the rest of my life. I, I think I did enough damage to the point where I'm I'm just good to go. Uh, Aqua Jet on this. Yeah. All of their Pokemon are... Come on! <laughs> ah! Oh my goodness. That's so rough. Shadow Ball, stop it! Crit, stop it! I'm all kinds of unlucky here. Oh my goodness, that was so bad. All right, all right. I lost to the Breloom. The Intimidate was relevant. The Intimidate did so much. Mm, and it's not like I could have protected with King Gambit. Okay, okay, I will take that loss and we will move on to the next game because I think the next game is going to be just so much better. It's got to be nothing could have. I think I hit rock bottom with that game. Let's let's go into the next one. But seriously, since since when do Golden Ghosts run Terra Blast? Since when? All right, let's let's fight Dan. Dan's bringing a Salazzle. That means a Moongus. Yep, that means a Moongus. That means um, Let's see, let's see. Uh, I, I'm i always tempted to bring Tauros, but I'm not going to do it this time. I think actually bring Volcarona again is the right play. Uh, I have a lot of things for a lot of those teams. We're going to bring back Scalibur because that just makes sense. And then Mimikyu? No, I think it's still King Gambit. Nah, it's Mimikyu. It's certainly Mimikyu. To me, like this is a... This is a group of four that's a little hard to to win with, but I think given the circumstances of the other team, I think I'll be able to do it. Going up against Dan, Dan won't know what hit him. Dan's about to get hit with a rage powder like he's never seen. Magnazone and Salazzle, eh? Amoongus and Volcarona, eh? Okay. Uh, I'm going to put something to sleep here. Magnezone. Magnezone? No. We're going to spore the Salazzle. I'm going to put the Salazzle to sleep. I'm going to protect with the Volcarona just in case it decides to fake that out. I don't want to get hit with an overheat. But it might just go for that in the first turn. Oh, I hate it when I'm right. I hate it when I'm right. Come on. <laughs> And it got hit with a crit. Man. Hate it when I'm right. And it's going to get sent out with an eject pack. Yeah, I have seen that before. What are you going to send out? What do you got? You're thinking about it. Their own Volcarona. Okay. I'm immediately ashamed of myself for not going for... Okay. For not going for a... Quiver Dance. That's interesting. And they par paralyzed their own Volcarona. Okay. Oh. No, that's leftovers. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's, it's gonna heal it up? Okay. No, uh, back Scalibur and Mimikyu. Mimikyu. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking. Don't rush me. Uh, back Scalibur. I, cause I like it. Cause I like back Scalibur. I think it's a good boy. I could go for a Glaive Rush or I could go for an Icicle Spear. Both are not very effective against Magnezone.
but I think Icicle Spear is the one that I want to go for. If they're both not very effective, I just kind of want to do it to break any potential sashes. Uh, I can't tear a water here because that would just be so dumb. Uh, we're going to go for a Heat Wave. Sir? Dan, you didn't you didn't want to do it? Dan? Dan, I, don't, I think... What? Oh, was that was that embarrassment? Was that embarrassment for having paralyzed your own Volcarona? Did you think you had had lost that? Okay, that's that's fine. Let's go into the next game. Let's do a game four then, because I'm not satisfied and I want to actually win. So let's go. All right, and this battle here is up against Yuto, who's got the Armor Rouge and the Ndidi. Nope. And our last battle is against the Ndidi and the Armor Rouge. Oh, I have seen this team. This is the exact same team that I almost played against, but didn't. What? Okay, fine, cool. Uh, was it the same person? I don't know. We're going to have to figure that out. Nope. Amoongus. I mean, it's not in the same order, so it can't be, right? It's just using the exact same Pokemon. <sighs> Anyway, this <laughs> this is my nightmare. We're going to uh, bring out the what is this? Does Backscalibur work? I don't really need. Yeah, you know what? We're going to go with. This is not the Armor Rouge that I know. This is the Expanding Force Armor Rouge or just the tr possible Trick Room Armor Rouge. I can bring King Gambit, but it's a very bad idea. So let's do it. Amoongus and King Gambit. Ah, I don't like it, because then they can just... Ah, I don't know. <sighs> Backscalibur. Tauros. The Dream Team. We're doing it. It's two in the morning. <laughs> I'm so tired and I want this game to be done. So I'm going to just go as hard as possible and destroy the enemy team. If it looks like a bad idea, champ select a team select. Maybe it's actually a good idea when you're playing the game. All right. We've got uh, interesting. We've got intimidate. Guess what? Nah, -uh. we're going to hit that defiant. Thank you very much. We're going to have an attack drop on that guy as well, but that's OK. That's OK, because we can get the Iron Head on the Sylveon. I can go for Spore or I can Terrastalize. No, I'm going to go for Spore. Yeah, go to sleep. That guy's going to go to sleep and the Sylveon's going to go to the big sleep. And then I'm going to go <laughs> take a big sleep. That Salamence has like just turned its head. It's just staring at the Amoongus. Dual wing beat. Dual wing beat's not going to take it out. No, 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 no. But a hyper voice will. I don't mind. I don't mind that Amoongus goes down here. Because Amoongus isn't one of my damage dealing Pokemon anyway. It's just a utility guy. <clears throat> yeah, there you go. Go and uh, go and. Take some of that throat spray. Also take this iron head. Kabam. Goodbye. We've got Salamence. We've got another Pokemon coming out. And then I have a Backscalibur for you. Do I ever have a Backscalibur for you, my friend? Do you have a moment to hear about my Backscalibur? I'm unhinged. All right. What is that last Pokemon going to be? That second last Pokemon going to be? What's Pokemon number three? Tell me what Pokemon number three is. Oh, it's Armor Rouge. Oh, it's Armor Rouge. Okay. I have stuff for both of you. We're going to go for a Sucker Punch on you. We're going to go for an Ice Shard on you. I'm not going to Terrastalize right now with either of these guys. There's a chance that I take them both out this turn. This is not a weak armor armor rouge. I know that it's not because it had the Indeedy and it had nothing to tell me that it goes with any kind of weak armor combo. It's terrestrializing. Why? Why are you terrestrializing? 
Because you're Terra Dark, yes. Okay. Okay, I have Tauros for you. Might mean that they have the chance to Trick Room, and that would be really sad, but we've got an Ice Shard for Salamence that's going to take it right out. Thank you very much. And then I've got a Sucker Punch, which means it's not using Trick Room, which means it's trying to attack me right now. It does have the weak armor, though. And it's going to rise its speed. An armor cannon. The boy. The Viking boy. Okay, now as long as this last Pokemon isn't Indeedee, I think I'm happy. If this Pokemon is Indeedee, I am Indeedee pressed. Yeah, okay. Just gonna sit back here. I'll just be back here real quick. Thank you. Thank you. Tauros. Okay. Psychic Surge, at least do me a solid. Just have a Psychic Seed. Thank you. Thank you. Is that so much to ask? Because now I can mirror herb it. And look at me, now I have special defense too. <sighs> I'm gonna Terrastalize. I'm gonna Terra Steel. Uh, I'm gonna Wave Crash because for all I know, Ndidi's about to go for, uh, yeah, for all I know, Ndidi's about to go for a follow me and I just don't want that. Uh, I can go for Isol Spear as well, because that'll just be normal damage. It's not going to go for another armor cannon, right? No, it's, uh, no, why would it? It can't. It can't do that. It would never. Armor Rouge would never. We hit the Terra Steel. And for, it's because of that, like because of the expanding force, it's a nasty move that it can do. Yeah, so that's what I was worried about. It doesn't Oko either of them. That was a critical hit on Tauros because of course it was. We're gonna wave crash and take ourselves out because of course we will. No, we're not. Okay, great. High School Spear is gonna take that out. They're going to take me out with this. This combo is going to take me out. The next expanding force is going to ruin my life. I can't go for a priority move. <laughs> I love this. I love this. Well. What's the chance? Zip. Right? Like, Tauros could take that if it didn't get crit. Tauros could absolutely have taken that. It's plus one special defense. Expanding Force would not have done nearly that much. Ah, oh, we're going to Glaive Rush it in the off chance that it survives. But <laughs> why would you do that? Why would you make me so sad? Yeah. Can I hit three protects in a row and get rid of Psychic Terrain? Can anybody make that happen for me? You know what? If you want to protect, I'm petty. It's it's 215. I am going to be that player. Let's see. Come on. Oh, now we're stalling it out. Oh, we're fun today. We're fun players. Okay, great. That's a protect. That's a protect. Expanding force. Tauros protected itself. Baxcalibur protected itself. This is enough time for them to realize that uh, there is actually nothing I can do. But I'm going to protect on both again. Oh no, let's miss our protect. Let's miss it. Okay, Tauros, you get to live. Baxcalibur, you get to live. You get to live. Uh, protect, protect. Oh no, that would have been the end of the game if they went for an expanding force. Instead, they decided to not. 
And now I say, now we have a chance. Expanding force is going to hit the protections. Weirdness is going to disappear. My friend, my friend, you messed around and now you're going to find out the speed's up by two. I need to remember that. Uh, is that defense down by two? Yeah, sure is. Uh, I'm going to go for an aqua jet. I'm going to go for an ice shard. And uh, this guy's going to make a choice. Yeah. <coughs> this guy's going to make a choice. Oh, sorry. That was me just coughing out all the toxicity that I expressed during the past three turns. Because now we're back. We are back in a good spot because person over there with the maroon hair uh, wanted to wanted to play me. So we're going to go for an ice shard and an aqua jet. That's a one. That's the weak armor down. Speeds. Oh, that's super fast. Guess what? Ice shard. Boom. Bye. And that's a win. And that's a win. They went for a protect when they should not have gone for a protect. And I don't know if that was them trolling or I don't know if that was them uh, just making the wrong choice. But regardless, I take those wins because it is 2.20 now and I am tired and I want to sleep. And I'm going to go do that after we talk about this rental code. So come with me. We're going to go into the lab. I'm going to tell you about this rental code and we're going to get out for the day. Let's go. And here it is, Genius VGC's Liverpool team using a Backscalibur, Tauros, Volcarona, King Gambit, Mimikyu, and Amoongus. A Backscalibur with a loaded dice, my favorite kind of Backscalibur so that you can hit more Icicle Spears than not. The uh, Terra Steel is a great Terra type to get away from uh, nasty fairy Pokemon or uh, the like. It uh, also, you know, it just looks really cool with that with that axe on its head and the axe on its back. It's Axe-Scalibur, Backscalibur. That's it. Tauros with the Terra Steel as well. Wave Crash, Aqua Jet, Close Combat, Protect. Um, sometimes you just want to Terra Steel. <coughs> there were a couple times in these games, actually, where I just wanted to Terra Steel to keep the Tauros alive from things that would normally take it out. Uh, Psychic would have normally taken out a Tauros. Psychic moves. Uh, fairy moves are now not very effective against the Tauros. And those things are all over the place, sometimes in surprise places. Volcarona with the uh, typical, you know, I'm a fire type, now I'm a water type. Boom, now I don't take that much water damage. Um, Flame Body, Citrus Berry, Heat Wave, Giga Drain, Quiver, Quiver Dance, Protect. Hit a Quiver Dance on your first turn and you are just sailing, my friends. King Gambit with the Defiant Assault Vest. This is Defiant, not Supreme Overlord, which means that you don't often want to keep it in the back. You sometimes want to leave with it, knowing that they're going to try and send out an Intimidate Pokemon to intimidate your Tauros, your Backscalibur, your Mimikyu. You have a lot of Intimidate fodder, including the King Gambit, actually. And uh, having Defiant just kind of flips that all on its head. Uh, speaking of head, we've got Iron Head, Sucker Punch, Kowtow Cleave, and Low Kick. Uh, lots of damage. Tons of damage. Uh, sometimes they're just not expecting a Sucker Punch when, you know, you've just gone for a Kowtow Cleave or an Iron Head, or even a Low Kick. Uh, Assault Fest means it's going to live a couple more special uh, attacks than it normally would. And then you've got Terra Flying to evade some Earthquakes, which is pretty sweet. You've got Mimikyu as well with Terra Ghost uh, for Shadow Claw, Play Rough, Shadow Sneak, and Taunt. Uh, sometimes you just want that little extra bit of ghost power, right? Uh, go Terra Ghost against a Goldengo to try and one hit it with a Shadow Claw and also uh, take away your, your fairy typing so that it might be able to live a hit even if its uh, disguise is busted. Amoongus with Regenerator and Covert Cloak. Covert Cloak means that it cannot be fake outed, fake out or flinched or flunch uh, with Terra Water. Spore, Rage Powder, Clear, Smog, and Pollen Puff. Amoongus with Terra Water is the most nasty thing that I've ever seen, right? Because you've got a lot of Pokemon out there with uh, Terra Fire or Fire Moves that can just do a lot of damage to your Amoongus. Going into Terra Water, that gets rid of it. It's great. And then you can put the Pokemon to sleep or redirect the Pokemon. Anyway, that is your team ID. Please go and use it because it's a very, very fun team. I did enjoy it, even though I am just exhausted. Uh, and now I'm going to go take that sleep. No, I'm kidding. I'm going to go edit this. But I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye, everybody. I'm going to go sleep, really. I, I really hope that I am. Very soon. Bye. 
in between you and me, I tried to record this before. I recorded a whole hour of footage and then realized that I didn't hit the record button. So that's why I'm so exhausted. Anyway, bye everybody. Bye.